Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to remove URL parameters from uh, Google Analytics page views using Tag Manager. So imagine that you have a website and the query parameters might contain uh, personally identifiable information and sending this personally identifiable information to Google Analytics is against the usage policy, especially with GDPR now um, being rolled out, you really want to avoid this happening. So I'm going to show you how to remove those parameters using Tag Manager and I'm going to use my own website, one of my own websites as an example. So this is a website where you can print a chart and you can enter a title and I'm going to enter a title that is contains my name which is personally identifiable information and when I click print this new view opens and you can see here that now my name is contained in the URL parameters and um, when we inspect what is being sent to Google Analytics in the network tab of the developer tools we can see that there is this DL parameter that contains the whole location of the page and it includes my chart title here. So what we're going to do using Tag Manager is we're going to overwrite the DL. Um, just as a side note, the first thing that I did when I thought about removing the parameter was I created a filter on my main view in analytics, which is something that you can do. And I'm using the search and replace um, with a regex that just deletes the query parameter. But keep in mind that if you use a filter in Google Analytics, the data still gets sent to the analytics server. So if you want to keep it really clean, you shouldn't even be sending this information to the analytics server. And that's where we're going to the source of Google Tag Manager and we're going to override this DL parameter. This is the measurement protocol uh, documentation of analytics. So the, the DL parameter is the document location URL. And Let's get started. So I'm going to need to create two new variables. Starting with the first one, which will be the URL query parameters, which is something that I'm using the uh, URL here. And then you can just select query as component type and that will return me everything that is part of my URL that's coming after the question mark. So let's save this. Um, we're going to create the second variable in a little bit. Uh, I just want to highlight quickly that in order for this to work you'll need to have these um, built-in variables activated page host name page path and page URL if you don't have them activated go to your var variable section click configure and select them here we are going to be using those so the next thing that I'm going to do is where are my URL parameters sent they're being sent in the page view so I'm going to need to update my page view what I'm going to use here is the fields to set in more settings. Uh, just as a side note, I'm using this feature here as well, Anonymize IP, which helps me with GDPR compliance because the IP address that is being sent to analytics is, um, is by default considered personally identifiable information as well, which is why Google Tag Manager now offers this out of the box to anonymize the IP which removes the last part of the IP which makes the geo-targeting uh, the location a little bit less accurate but with the upside that you can keep using the IPs. Okay, so we're going to add another field and 
I'm going to select location here, which is exactly what we want to override the DL parameter document location URL. So we're going to override the location, and in order to do that, I'm going to create another new custom variable. I'm going to call this location override. And uh, because unfortunately this doesn't come out of the box with Google Tag Manager yet, we're going to need to use some custom JavaScript. So I, I would hope that this will be added soon as a standard feature, but at the moment we'll need to use custom JavaScript. I'm going to paste this JavaScript in a blog and link it under my videos. So I've already prepared it here and I'm going to copy it. Paste. Okay. Now let's go through this uh, line by line quickly. I'm just starting at the bottom. So what this variable needs to do is it needs to be a function which is then executed by Tag Manager and it needs to return the new value of the location. The new value of the location will be made up of the protocol, the host name, which will be... So this is the protocol, this is the host name, and then we have the path, and the query, which is all of this. And we want to remove one thing from the query. So here I'm creating all these variables for the path, the query, the URL, and the protocol. And uh, as you can see here, for my query, I'm using the variable that I just created. And now we're using a regex to get rid of the parameter that we want to not to send to analytics, which is called chart underscore title. So I'm going to paste this here. Uh, we have another variable, clean path. I'm just assigning the original path like this. Uh, and then we have an if statement later. So the protocol I'm reading from the URL because there's no variable that is ju that just returns the protocol. So this URL is coming from the built-in variable page URL and I'm using the double slash to identify the protocol part. So that will return exactly this plus the colon and when I reassemble it here I'm going to add the slashes again. Now the query overwrite got rid of my parameter and if there is anything left in the query parameters then I am uh, creating a new cleaned path that uses the original path plus the question mark which got lost in the meantime plus the new query with the parameter that I wanted to remove. And in the end, the full new location will be returned. So let's save this. And also let's save the page view. And go into preview mode. And hope that it works. So let's reload this page with the nasty parameter that we want to get rid of and inspect once more the analytics page view request. And as we can see here, we have the same full URL, but the chart title is now no longer contained in here. So Success. So just as a quick summary, what did I do? I modified my page view to rewrite the location and I created two variables, two new variables, one for the query parameters and one for the override of the location. And used some custom JavaScript code which I will paste for you in a block. So I hope this helped and uh, I will see you in the next video.